Hello friends, welcome to another video of Art and Greens. Today's video is about springtails and I'm gonna narrate it in English so that all the terrarium herbists who are interested in these tiny creatures can follow my video. So, shall we start? First, let's see what are springtails. They are minute, primitive, wingless insects which are seen in areas of high moisture and areas rich in organic debris like dead and decaying trees, barks, fallen leaves, damp places, etc. You can get your starter cultures from nature. To find them, look for places like decaying bark or rotting wood. If you are lucky enough, you can find them beneath your flower pots or grow bags. Now that you got to know where to find them, the next question is how to identify them. Springtails are really small. They are usually about 1 to 2 mm in size and some can be as small as 0.2 mm and the maximum size they can reach is about 10 mm. I hope you can get the size of the springtails by comparing them with the size of my fingernail. The springtails that we usually use in terrariums are creamish white or white in color, but they can also be grey, black or even brightly colored. There is an easy way to identify them. Just watch their moving habit. They are not flying insects, but they can jump or spring, and hence the name springtails. They spring with the help of an organ called furcula, which is present under their abdomen. They can also float on the surface of water as they have got a waterproof covering over their body. Sometimes they remain so still that we think they are dead. This is a character which gives us some worries, but no need to worry, the next moment they will be up and active again. Now, let's see why do we need them in our terrariums. We are aware of the role played by tiny organisms in the soil in recycling the organic matter that falls on the earth's surface. Without them, the life on earth would have stopped long back. Similarly, for our terrarians to be successful, to be sustainable, we need decomposers in them too. Springtails are one such creatures that helps in recycling the organic debris that is formed inside the terrariums. Moreover, they also feed on the fungi and the algae that are formed inside the damp atmosphere of our terrariums. Thus, springtails help us to keep our terrariums neat and fresh. They are often referred to as the cleanup crew of terrariums. Springtails thus form an inevitable part of bioactive terrariums or terrariums that are sustainable and long lasting. Next is the culturing part. It is very easy to culture them. The materials that we need are a starter culture like this. You can get it from nature as I've already said, or you can get it from some online vendors. Not many are into springtails sale in India. I got mine from Mr. Viral Shah, whose details are given in the description box. The culture was really good. When you receive a springtail culture, you may notice that only a few springtails are active in it. But need not worry, they'll multiply in a very short period of time. The next thing we need is a plastic container which has got some depth and with a tight fitting lid. You can reuse the plastic containers that you have at your home or you can buy a new one. The next thing that we need is charcoal. It is better to use lump wood charcoal or burnt wood charcoal. You can also use horticultural charcoal or activated charcoal. But the latter two are on the higher side of expense. It's better to use smaller pieces of charcoal as it increases the surface area for the springtails. Then wash it thoroughly to remove any adhering piece of dirt and ash. We also need some uncooked or raw rice as food for the springtails. You can also use nutritional yeast instead of that. First, we shall add the charcoal pieces. Usually, I add smaller pieces towards the bottom and keep the larger ones at the top so that it will be easy for us to collect and add them to our terrariums. Now, let's pour some water. We can use distilled water or tap water or normal drinking water but never use chlorinated water. There should be a layer of water at the bottom about an inch deep. This is needed for their multiplication. Now, let's add the springtails. We can add them to our culture in different ways. The best and easiest method is just to take a piece of charcoal and keep it in the new culture. 
Just tapping the charcoal piece over the new culture is another method of transferring the sprinkles into it. Now let's feed them. I am adding a pinch of uncooked rice. The sprinkles won't eat this rice but due to the damp condition the rice will eventually develop some fungi and the sprinkles will be feeding on it. We can feed them once they finish eating this. It may take a few days or even a week. That's it. Our cultures will be ready. Now we have to keep them in a place where there won't be direct sunlight. They prefer a bit of darkness. So keep them in a shaded area. Your cultures will be ready within a few weeks depending upon the size of your container. Now about the care and maintenance of springtail cultures. We need to prevent carbon dioxide buildup inside the containers. So it's advised to open the containers every day or at least every other day. We should also check the underlying water layer. We should add in more water if it gets dried up. Feed them once they have finished eating the food that we have already given. Once the number of springtails increase and cover the entire lumps of charcoal, we need to divide them. This is a culture that I had seeded some two weeks back. You can see their number is increasing. Now coming to the ways of adding springtails to our terrariums. You can add them in three ways. The first you can just keep a small piece of charcoal filled with the springtails into your terrarium. The second method is to take a piece of charcoal containing the springtails and tap it on the top of your terrarium. The springtails would easily jump onto the plants. The third way is to pour water to fill the container containing springtails. The springtails would float on the surface. Now decan the liquid onto another container and you can pour this liquid containing springtails into your terrariums. So that's it. I guess I have covered all the important aspects a beginner should know about springtails. There are tiny guys doing a great job in our terrariums. So if you are a terrarium hobbyist, do get your springtail culture right now. If you have any doubts regarding this or if you have enjoyed the video, please do comment and also do like, share and subscribe. See you soon with another video. Thank you.